In November of 2023, I visited Idaho for the very first time for a solo adventure and fell in love with the natural beauty of this diverse state. I am thrilled to return with my father this time as we begin a nearly 1800 mile loop through this vast region of the United States. This new travel series, Gem State Getaways, focuses on incredible outdoor destinations and day trip activities including state parks, national monuments, caves, waterfalls, and mountainside hikes to alpine lakes. As always, sit back, relax, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to support my adventure. The return to Idaho began early in the morning at Cleveland Hopkins International Airport with a brief layover in Minnesota. As our plane began its descent over eastern and central Idaho, memories of my solo adventure to the state in November recurred. Eventually we landed in Boise, the capital city of the Gem State, with a population of over 236,000 people. All right guys, we finally made it to Boise after traveling for, it seems like forever. <laughs> it was my first time in Boise, and although we did not spend any time in the city itself, the airport was a pleasant and quick experience. After retrieving our luggage, we proceeded to our rental car. We were lucky enough to have a Toyota 4Runner for the second time. It was a great option during our visit to Washington and Oregon last year. Greetings everyone and welcome to the Return to Idaho travel series. It has been about six or seven months since I was here the last time. I'm back here with my dad as you can see. But yeah, it's been a long uh, day of traveling. We went from Cleveland to Minneapolis all the way to Boise. And now we are here, we're gonna restock at Walmart and we're gonna start our first adventure here in Idaho, part two. So this is the first time my dad's in Idaho for joining me for this adventure. And we actually have the Toyota 4Runner, as you can see behind me from our Pacific Northwest trip in September. Look at that. Same so, color too. Same car, exactly. So that's awesome. Now let me show you real quick. You guys can see off-road edition. We've got everything in here. Beautiful. Here's the dashboard. Very clean too. It's the same exact car that we had. And I like the step up on this car too. It's really nice. So yeah, we're gonna go and uh, get our stuff packed up here. And then we're gonna head out to Bruno Sand Dunes, which is the tallest single structure sand dune in North America. Join us for our first adventure in Idaho. Welcome everyone to Idaho. We are back for an all new adventure out west. Today we're gonna start with the Bruno Sand Dunes, a beautiful stop in Southern Idaho. Join us for an all new adventure and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Our first destination for this adventure is Bruno Sand Dunes, which features the tallest freestanding sand dunes in North America, reaching 470 feet. Bruno Dunes State Park is one of the most unique landscapes in the United States. A variety of activities can be found at this tranquil escape, including hiking trails, sandboard rentals at the visitor center, equestrian trails, numerous campsites, as well as fishing for bass and bluegill within this vibrant desert oasis. 
If you want to experience the majesty of the night sky, stop at the observatory within the park, open to the public with a collection of unique telescopes. Due to the limited light pollution near the dunes vicinity, it provides unobstructed dark sky views of the Milky Way. It's best to explore the park early in the day or late in the evening due to the sun's powerful rays reflected by the sand. There is a $7 fee per vehicle to enter. Bruno Sand Dune State Park was established in 1970 and is located about 18 miles south of Mountain Home. Other dunes in the Americas form at the edges of natural basins, whereas these form near the center. This unique mix of elements has allowed sand to collect in this semicircular basin for over 20,000 years. Geologists believe that the dunes before us may have originated with sands from the Bonneville Flood about 15,000 years ago. Unlike most dunes, these do not drift far. The prevailing winds blow from the southeast at 28% of the time and from the northwest 32% of the time, keeping the dunes fairly stable. Although there are many small dunes in the area, two prominent dunes cover approximately 600 acres. These two imposing dunes are striking, particularly because they dwarf most of the nearby land features. All right, guys, let's go check out Bruno Sand Dunes here in Idaho. It's a place I've been wanting to visit for a while. I don't know how you're gonna hear me because it's kind of windy today. But this place is beautiful. Features the tallest single structure sand dune in the United States. You guys are probably familiar with great sand dunes in Colorado, which has some really, really tall ones, but this is the the tallest single structure one. It's quite beautiful here. Should we go here? Yeah, go ahead over here. Look at this, guys. It's like a little oasis. We've got to watch out for snakes in here. Look at that. Hi, guys. All right, guys, we're gonna check out this loop trail over here, the Bruno Dunes Loop. Pretty cool. Hi, guys. Okay. Oh, this is the uh, the big dune trail. Over here. I think it's flat. Do you think it's flat? Uh, I don't know. Let's we'll take a look. The loop is on the other side, I think. All right, guys, we're going to attempt portion of the Big Dune Trail. The dune itself that's here is 470 feet tall massive and this trail uh, takes you to the top of that there's also an observatory here you could view because this is a dark sky international dark sky 
so you're actually able to view the solar system the milky way galaxy and everything in their observatory i think it's like seven o'clock to ten or something they said Pretty. Peaceful here, isn't it? There's a dune in the background. That thing is high, isn't it? Me too. Peaceful. It was so great to be back in Idaho, guys. This time I have my dad with me too. Wow, look at this. You can see forever out here. How long it took to get up. All right, guys, we made it over to the Big Dune Trail. We did a little portion of it. Um, it it's a little bit intense, the, the sun, as well as the terrain. We're not really used to this at all. <laughs> um, but another thing I'd recommend is get here early in the day because our flight landed at like 1030 in uh, Boise, and then we drove here for about an hour away. So I would try to uh, get here in the morning for sunrise when it's not as hot. Because the sun's kind of like reflecting off the sand, but it's it's just really beautiful here. Definitely worth a stop. We're going to go and walk back to, towards the car now, and then we're going to go and explore the smaller dune near the lake. I'll see you there.
right guys, let's go check out the next dune. Time to climb some sand dunes. I'll probably start filming when I get closer to the top because I'm gonna be huffing and puffing. And I'll put in the video what this dune is made out of, what type of uh, mineral material. Oh, you get a good view over there though. All right guys, a quick stop at the visitor center here. Nice sign. By the way, you guys can also rent sand boards here. The ones that you sit down on or the ones that you ride like a snowboard. Look at that giant bone over there. 
fossilized. That's amazing. Jeez. For these fossilized fish impressions and snails. That's so cool. You guys could see we're in the Snake River Plain again. Look at that mammoth pelvic bone. That is amazing. Blue heroin. Got the coyotes over here. Sage grouse, badger. Really beautiful visitor center. Thank you guys for watching today's adventure to Bruno Sand Dunes in Idaho, and I will see you at our next stop. After enjoying our time at the sand dunes, we continued on to our next destination. I hope you enjoyed episode one of Gem State Getaways.